I'm Miss Kathy. Welcome back to Explore Outdoors While Stuck Indoors, where we explore flamingo gardens from A to Z. Today's letter is the letter L. What a lovely letter. Let's go explore the different animals, plants, and trees that begin with the letter L. Come on, let's go. L is for the lantana plant. Do you see all the beautiful colors around here? Lantana plant comes in many different colors. Yellow, white, red, orange, purple, but many times the different colors come in the same cluster, just like you could see the flowers here. The lantana plant attracts butterflies and bees. They grow berries. Some people use them for cooking, but they have to be ripe. If they're not ripe, they can make you very sick. So be careful and never eat anything that you don't know what it is first. So now, let's check out some other things around Flamingo Gardens that begin with the letter L. Hi guys, I'm Miranda from Flamingo Gardens with the Animal Care Department. Today we are gonna be talking about the letter L, and L is for laughing gull. So we have three different species of gulls here in Flamingo Gardens, right in our little aviary. One of them being the laughing gull, the bigger one in the back, that is a herring gull, and then we have our ringbill gull. Now, the cool thing about them is, is that there is no such thing as a seagull. There's no such thing as a seagull, a deagle, but guys, our national bird is an eagle. So that is pretty cool. So whenever you see one of our species of gulls, mostly you're gonna see your laughing gulls in the keys around the gulf side. Also, you'll see them at your local Walmart, Publix, and Target. They really like to congregate there. What I like about them and what I love about seeing them out is, is that they're altered state. So right now we are in mating season. So that means that they're going to have a dark black head with a bright red bill. And once they get over breeding season, they'll lose that and they'll go back to kind of looking almost exactly like our ring bill goal, which is right over in the corner. These guys are also really cool because they laugh almost exactly like you and I do. So whenever you tell a really funny joke, they're almost always there to laugh with you. What these guys like to eat out in the wild is they're going to eat little fish and stuff like that that are on the top of the water. So if you're ever out and about at the beach, it's always a great thing to bring a bag with you so you can pick up all that loose plastic and stuff because what they're going to see in the sky is they're going to see something shiny, they're going to fly down and they're going to try and eat it. And unfortunately, they're going to eat a lot of plastic. So if you could help clean them up with that, that'd be really amazing. And the next time you guys are in the aviary, come check out our amazing laughing gulls. Let's see what else we can find that begins with the letter L. Let's look around. I found it. I know, peacock starts with the letter P, but this is a very special peacock. This is our leucistic peacock. His name is Prince Charming. Now leucistic is different than albino. The leucistic peacocks don't have any pigment, but they still have the regular colored eyes. An albino peacock would have the pink eyes. Now, the peahens are the girls. They're the ones that have the green necks normally and the brown tail feathers. The boys are called the peacocks. They have the blue necks, and they're the ones that have the long tail feathers in the back. Now, we know that Prince Charming here is a boy or a male peacock because he has the long tail feathers. Now, at Flamingo Gardens, we have an easy way of remembering the difference between the peahens and the peacocks. The green necks are the girls. G is for green, G is for girl. The blue necks are for the boys. B is for blue, B is for boy. Here's one of the peacocks with his tail feathers spread. Isn't it beautiful? Now they do this to try to attract the mate, try to attract the female peahen. And if you look, you can see he's got his sights on one of the peahens right now.
I hope you enjoyed learning about the different animals, plants, and trees here at Flamingo Gardens that begin with the letter L, like the leucistic peacock, the laughing gull, and lantana. Now it's time for Crafts with Cats, starring Oreo and Grey Ghost. Today's craft is a little different. It's a letter to a loved one. Since everybody's been stuck inside, you might be missing some of your loved ones, and we're going to send them a little letter today. Go on to flamingogardens.org and click on the education tab where you can download the template. It's a very simple template. You can just make it yourself if you'd like out of a couple of hearts. What you're gonna need is some crayons, some scissors, tape, and maybe something nice to decorate it with like glitter or stickers, whatever you like, whatever you think is gonna make the person that you're sending it to happy and smile. So also another thing that you can do is you can get several of the templates and tape them all together so that you have a nice little banner that you can put in your window so that you can hang it up and anybody that's passing by, any friends or relatives, will see what you think of them as they're driving by. So, you're going to want to cut out the template. I printed mine on red construction paper, but you can print it on any kind of paper or color in the paper. You're gonna fold it in half so it looks like a little letter. And then inside, write a really nice message to somebody. I'm gonna write this to my mom. Cause I haven't seen her in a while and I really miss her. And there you have it, your little letter. Please remember to share your crafts with us so that we can see what you're doing while you're stuck indoors. And please remember to visit us at flamingogardens.org and click on the education tab for explore outdoors while stuck indoors. And you can also visit us at YouTube, Facebook, and Instagram at Flamingo Gardens. Please join us tomorrow when our letter will be M. Start thinking about the different plants, animals, and trees that we might have around the gardens that begin with the letter M. And M means that we're almost halfway through the alphabet. So we'll see you tomorrow and I hope you have a great day.